from HunterWorks Outdoors. I got my dad behind the camera today. We're standing on the north half of our property on our 77 acres. It is adjacent to our 60 acres where we built our duck hole that you guys can go check out on the last video. But today's video is all about mulching for wildlife. Now we have Mr. Daniel on a drum mulcher uh, here today, and he's trying to get rid of all the small brush and small trees that are preventing sunlight from hitting the ground. As you guys can tell from behind me a little bit, he came about two months ago, and there's still not as much undergrowth as we would like for our deer to be able to browse and bed in. I'm gonna show a picture from the 70 acres that he already did a couple months ago that's really growing good because there's less trees. Now we're gonna come in here and hack and squirt and get rid of some of these bigger trees that we can't get with the mulcher to get even more sunlight to the ground. But the goal is to increase browse and bedding area for these deer, especially on top of this ridge. He's working his way to the bottom uh, down here right now. If I can get my dad to show to the right here, this is what it looked like before, before he even touched the ground with that mulcher. Now, if, as you can tell, this is not good for a deer bedding. There's too many trees beside each other. There's a little bit of browse, not much, but we've noticed that the deer have not uh, felt secure on our property, especially in this north half. So I think coming in here and mulching will be really beneficial for our deer to feel safe and secure. Now, me and my dad are gonna walk down here and show you guys what he's done today and yesterday, and then kind of get a close up action of how that mulcher works. Hunter let me be in front of the camera on these action shots, but Daniel's over here on the, I think it's saying it's a lamb track and uh, uh, 61, 60T, 170 horsepower machine. And he's getting it, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's uh, pretty amazing uh, how he can do it. But we just want to get a little action shots. He's already got most of the small stuff in this area and uh, doing the bigger stuff and he's going to continue right on through. Hunter's kind of paying down that we're close. See how thick it all is in there. And there's nothing to grow one down in the bottom for the deer and all. So that's why we're getting it all cleaned out as Hunter said earlier. So we're gonna shoot on out of here and uh, go to an area and take just a short amount of footage that was being done early this year in some pines. So this is the area where I added that uh, picture from at the beginning of the video where I said he already had mulched before. So he came in here in the spring. As you guys can tell, it's a lot higher than it is back in the back 77. Uh, but now you can see that it's uh, filling up with broad leaves, majority of them being sweet gums. Uh, there's two things that we can do, and I know for sure we're going to be burning it. Uh, but if worse comes to worse, we're going to have to spray some herbicide on it to get rid of the broad leaves. But it's actually going pretty good because there's a lot of sunlight in here. We won't have to hack and squirt uh, this area. 